So the first thing you'll need to do before you actually start connecting to the Twitter API is actually create an app. And what this allows you to do is identify yourself to your users. You can't just uh, anonymously ask for access. It has to be tied down to a specific application. So um, if you head over to apps.twitter.com, um, that's the URL at present. It may, may change. So Google, Google for Twitter apps uh, and you'll find this page here once you're signed in. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new app. It's fairly straightforward. We just provide the details that we need here. So the first one is going to be the name of the app. That's fairly straightforward. The next is going to be a description. So you can literally just write whatever you want in here. Uh, for the website, that uh, is obviously, uh, you know, the website that you want to provide. In this case, I'm just going to do, um, I don't know, let's just say PHP Academy org okay so with a callback url this is a little bit more tricky uh, we're going to have to provide a callback url that's the same as the environment that we're working on and if this is if you're working on production then this goes live you'll need to change this um, at the moment i am masking localhost as local.dev because at present Twitter doesn't allow localhost, or it, it invalidates localhost as a URL. So if I were to type in, let's say, pop that in there, if I were to do localhost, this will actually be uh, an invalid URL in Twitter's eyes, uh, which is a little bit silly. But all I've done is I've head over to my um, hosts file and I've mapped local.dev to localhost or 127.0.0.1. And this is going to be our callback URL. Index isn't going to be our callback. It's going to be callback.php. So once you've got this uh, sort of working, this is going to be, need to be the path. It, it can be a local path. It doesn't have to be uh, accessed. Um, but maybe I should talk a little bit about what this actually is. So when we authenticate with Twitter, it needs to know that it's coming from the origin where we generated the link, where we click sign in. Um, and it also needs to know where to redirect uh, once the user has said, you know, I'm going to allow this app to access all my information. So you need this callback URL to be a valid page on your uh, on your server. And what this is going to do, it's going to read the uh, token that's sent back. And that's going to then be the sort of, you know, authorization. Otherwise, anyone could just authorize with it. So we are using local dev, tutorials, Twitter auth, and callback.php. So we'll be creating this file later. That's going to handle the callback. So once you've done that, um, please go ahead and uh, read the developer rules here. Make sure you uh, understand them and hit yes, I agree, and create your Twitter application. Now, once that's done, that will create your app for you. And there we are, successfully created. Now, you're going to need the API keys uh, tab here. This is going to give you your API key, your API secret, which should not be uh, publicly accessible or publicly readable at all. Um, you can change the access level um, and you've got owner and owner ID, which really um, we don't need to worry about too much for now. So you've got your API key, you've got your API secret um, and you know your callback URL. So from this, we can start to actually connect to Twitter's API.